we are back. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Kurt, and this is APA Wi-Fi Season 4, week number one, and I am so excited, man. Uh, if you guys didn't check out the draft analysis, make sure you guys go do that. Uh, I was forced to do it. You, if you know me, you know I don't like doing them, but I was actually kind of excited to do this one because having fun with this team, and uh, in case you guys didn't know, APA Season 4 is Little Cup. So, having a lot of fun. This, this, this big dude is not Little Cup. But, uh, this is, this is the big man. This is the big man that owns it all. This is Tor Tank. Uh, he's got Focus Punch, because he has Focus Punch. <laughs> That's why. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I haven't played Little Cup since, like, Gen 6. So, I have, I had no knowledge going into this. So, uh, yeah. So, before... I've decided I'm going to do a quick little team builder before all my games. Not going to go too in-depth. Uh, if you guys want in-depth team builders, let me know in the comments below. If you guys just like this, then uh, we'll, we'll roll with this. But uh, week one, we get to play in vivid color, coach of the South Texas Sableyes. And actually, before I get into Vivid's team, I need to make a couple shoutouts. First, shout out to Elite Four Dan for the awesome layout. This thing is awesome. I love it. It just looks so clean and so cool. Love, much love. Shout out to Dan. Make sure you guys go check him out. Second, shout out to uh, Silver Seraf. He uh, gave me some tips when team building. Uh, he helped me run through some sets and whatnot. Uh, and honestly, my team would not be the same. If I brought the team I initially built versus the team I have now, I wouldn't have as much confidence going into this game as I do. Uh, he helped me run through a lot of stuff and just helped me prepare for this game. So huge shout out to him. Thank you so much, man. Uh, this team would this team would not be it without you. Um, and I had another shout out, and I don't remember who it is. I generally don't know record my videos. Uh, shout out to you for watching because you're cool and you smell good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna add question of the day to the uh, or the question of the battle to the thing, but I forgot. I might do it in post. I don't know. If I do, you'll see it s somewhere. Uh, it might just pop up on your screen. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just be lazy. I don't know. But, uh, enough rambling. Let's get into, uh, oh, I guess also shout out to Vivid for waiting on me because I kept fucking up times and whatnot. Uh, I'm not smart at all. Okay. So, let's quickly jump into Vivid's team because I've, be, I've been making this dude wait for way too long. Vivid, uh, in Vivid Color and the South Tape Sexist Sableyes consist of Drifloon, Elekid, Panchamp, pa uh, Kabuto, Jengmo'o, Morlo, Spinarak, Magby, Fampy and Skitty. And uh, horrifying things on this team Drifloon, Elekid, Pancham, Magby, Fampy. That's five. He needs to bring six. <laughs> that just shows how much I don't like his team. Morlo is annoying. Jangmo O can also be annoying. Kabuto, I'm not really expecting. I saw it once, and that was just to test it. So, let's quickly run down my team. First things first, we have Sebastian R. Skidoo. This is Impish with Sap Zipper with Leaf Blade, Rock Slide, Bulldoze, and Milk Drink. This thing is just an overall bulky uh, Pivot Mon. It can actually do a lot of damage to his team. Uh, it can soak up hits from that Elekid fairly well. Uh, Jeng Mo O. It can tank hits from the Fampy, but I can't let it get knocked off because its EV Light is way too important. This also completely 100 million percent walls Morlo. And with Morlo not being able to touch this, I can literally just sit in front of Morlo and just give his team hell. So there's that. Next up, we have Jacob, our uh, Tyrant. This thing is Choice Scarf with Stone Edge, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Fire Fang. Uh, a Scarf Rock, because I really wanted Rocks on this thing. I had a, I had a bulky Tyrant before, but now that he's Scarf, uh, I think he's kind of, I think he's still a little bulky, but not super, super bulky. I wanted this thing to be a Maggie check, and then I learned that Maggie just still beats this 1v1. So, yeah. Uh, this thing is Stone Edge, Earthquake, Fire Fang, and... Uh, what did, I, what did I miss? Stone Edge, Stealth Rock, Fire Fang, and Earthquake. Uh, rocks, because Rocks are really nice. Uh, just Hazards overall are really nice, because every Pokemon only has like 20 HP. So losing a little bit of that extra HP is going to be really nice, especially because rolls in Little Cup are so fucking wild. Uh, next up, we have Wavy, our... Uh, uh, fucking, what's this called? Shelmet, with Modest Overcoat, with Bug Buzz, Spikes, Baton Pass, and Energy Ball. Uh, this thing's just a spike setter. I, I am allowed to baton pass. I'm not allowed to pass positive stats, but if I pass something, like, if he parting shots me with his Pancham, I, I can obviously pass that, because that'd be dumb if I'm not allowed to pass those. That'd just be weird. I'm allowed to dry pass, so... I was, I think that's fine. If it's not, then that's dumb. <laughs> Bug Buzz, because its overall stab just hits everything really hard. The only thing I can't really hit with this set is Drifloon, but I can just baton pass out on that. 
Um, and then Energy Ball is for the Fampy, which almost Oko's it after Rocks, uh, depending on his set. Next up, we have Gurmit the Frog, uh, the team captain. We got a uh, Hasty Protean Frog with Surf, Ice Beam, U-Turn, and Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes are just there. I don't think I'm ever going to set them up, but in case I ever find myself in an opportunity where I can, I will. But honestly, Surf and Ice Beam is all I really needed. Surf, Ice Beam, U-Turn didn't need a last move, so I just gave it Toxic Spikes because who knows. Uh, this thing hits so hard. It's just, it's dumb. I love Faroki and Low Cup. That's the one thing I know about Low Cup is that Faroki is awesome. Uh, this thing just hits hard, rips his team apart once certain things are weakened. He really doesn't have a great way of checking this. Next up, we have Lee, our uh, Lolan Meowth, with Jolly Pick, uh, it has Pickup. What ability was it supposed to have? Because I feel like Pickup was not it. It was supposed to have Rattled. Well, uh, I'll fix that in a second. Uh, it's supposed to have rattled, not pick up. It's supposed to have rattled uh, with knockoff, parting shot, taunt, and gunk shot. A Z parting shot could be really cool. A Z knockoff just to get that extra damage. Uh, I don't remember what Z taunt does. I think it raises my speed. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Uh, but I do know that it is pretty cool. Uh, this thing is just a really nice pivot. Uh, I can switch into knockoffs and whatnot. Uh, I can half check Panda as long as it's not going for a fighting move and killing me. Uh, this thing's just more so to be annoying, just to pivot around in. This is also my main check to Drifloon. If it does have Will-O-Wisp, that kind of sucks, but I can still do a lot of damage to it and just annoy it. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's a Persian. Or not a Persian name, yeah. And last but not least, we got Downy the dog. <laughs> we got Downy making his debut, Jolly Vital Spirit with Choice Bandit. He is a mad dog. With Return, Facade, Crunch, and Wild Charge. He has no switch into this. There, There is not a switch in on this team. Because only one thing on his team resists normal, and that's Kabuto. Everything else... Oh, he has Kabuto, which resists normal, thus Wild Charge. And he has Drifloon, which is immune to normal, thus Crunch. Everything else dies to fam to Downy. Nothing takes a hit from Downy the dog. And to make it even better, Downy soaks hits. Downy eats a Specs Thunderbolt from Elekid. Uh, I can eat any hit from Drifloon, any hit from Kabuto, I can eat a non plus six, I can eat anything from Magby as long as it's not set up, I can eat pretty much anything that isn't Panda. <laughs> so I basically get a get out of jail free card with uh, the little the little pupper here, and uh, yeah. And I basically get a kill, so I'm guaranteed at least a 5-0 loss. Yeah! <laughs> Great way to start the season. But uh, that is my team. I'm expecting him to bring Drifloon, Elekid, uh, Pancham, Spinarak, Morlul, and Magby. Actually, no. Drifloon, Elekid, Pancham, Morlul, Spinarak, Fampy. Magby is like the seventh mon for me, but I think Fampy is just a little more useful for him. But uh, yeah, that's my squad. That's what I'm predicting uh, to do. I'm going to quickly fix that meow so it has rattled, and then we are going to uh, get right in the game. So I will see you guys in Uno Momento. All right, so. Like 20 minutes later, after a jetting mistake, a recording mistake, and then me not knowing how to read, uh, we are back. We are connecting against Vivid. Uh, <laughs> I was not nervous at all while regenning, while doing my intro, all that. Now that I'm in the battle, nervous as hell. Beside myself. Oh god. Please like the battle rules. So I know we don't have. To, I think we have to click no restrictions. One to six, Pokemon level, no restriction. Yes, we have to click no restrictions, I think up to 50 yeah no restrictions because the other one will set them to 50 and we're supposed to play at level 5 participating team APA team I switched the Meowth I, no I did no I did oh my god all my team is male jeez <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's go. <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh. All right. He's accepted his team. He's loading us in. What did he bring? Grrr. What the hell was that? Drifloon, Kabuto. No Fampy. Oh, my God. No Morlo. Okay. Okay, David, I see you. All right. So we see a Drifloon. Not a Drillbur. A Drifloon. An Elekid. A Magby. I was gonna say no pan not magic card. God damn it. Magby. A Pancham. A Spinarak. And a Kabuto. Okay. That's big. That's really big. 
Now, I could do... He's going to lead... Does Kabuto get rocks? I feel like it does. It does get rocks. So he's either going to leave the spinner act to get webs, or Kabuto to get rocks. Or he could lead one of... Pan he could lead... Uh, actually, one thing I want to check just in case. Um, capture cursor is off. There we go. Okay. Just want to make sure that was off so my mouse didn't show up. Um... I kind of want to lead with... kind of want to lead with Lee and just taunt turn one. And I'm being very risky against that spinner rack, but I think it's worth it. Alright. Good luck, have fun, to in Vivid Color. Make sure you guys go check him out. He is really cool. He is, uh, he's just, I like him. He's cool. He's fun. And, uh, yeah. His team logo is also purple, so that means it's good. <laughs> does Kabuto get rapid spin? I think it does. It does. That's no bueno, because now my hazards are a little more annoying to set up. Alright, Lee. Show us what you got. He's gonna leave a Tide Pod. Okay. The Kabuto. Okay. This is actually better for me. I'm glad this isn't a spinner rack. I want to taunt this thing turn one. Yeah, I want you to not. I just want you to not. Why does Todd- Why? Aren't they orange and blue? This is green! <laughs> Doesn't make any sense! Uh, taunting turn one just stops him from rocks. If he attacks me, I don't think he's gonna do that much damage. Like, it'll hurt, but like, I'll live. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him! So mad! And he goes to Rock Slide. Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay. Turn one of the first. Se <laughs> Turn one of week one of season four, and I'm crit. Okay. Okay. Well then, that was fun. Oh my god. What is this? Turn one, week one, and I'm crit. What the hell? Alright, I'm getting the fudge nuggets out of here because apparently you just want to crit things. Come on, dude. Rock slide. Okay, let's see if I can figure out anything about you. Oh, you're gonna withdraw. Okay. Atlanta. Who's Atlanta? Panda! Bud! Bud, 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 bud. Never done weird, bud. Never done bitchin' Atlanta. Alright, so the panda is here. And you're minus one. I can go into wavy. And I can set up some hazards. I could. I could go into Gurmit. But that's gonna hurt. I don't wanna get knocked off with Skidoo. I think I'm just gonna go wavy and I'm just gonna click spikes. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to take my time real quick, because I want to learn. If I can learn anything about that Kabuto, I will. Uh, you are at 5 HP. So you did 79% with Rock Slide on a crit. Not C, crit. So it looks like your attack stat is 15. Actually, it should be 16. It's not 17, so it's 16 or lower. I don't know how people do this in the look up. I'm confused. Okay, so you have at least 15. How do I? Come on. Say you have 16 for the benefit of the doubt, because the calc doesn't move. Um, I really want a baton pass. Is this thing dark yet? No, it's just fighting. I'm going to throw some spikes up. He's gonna knock me off. This isn't gonna do a whole lot. Yeah, I did four. I'm just gonna spike. Yeah. Uh, losing that doesn't. It kind of sucks, but it doesn't really. Honestly, Shelmet as a whole just kind of sucks this game. I think whatever he's gonna do, he's gonna end up switching. Whether he just hard switches or. Oh, but if he parting shots, I don't want to pass that. If he parting shots, he's gonna go into Magby. And that's just no bueno. Actually, minus one Jacob will still wreck. So I'm going to baton pass. He's going to withdraw. Okay. 
back into Kabuto. So he's going to want to spin these away. So we see you have knock. Now I could go into Sebastian, actually. And be a little bit of annoyance. I could just click Leaf Blade. Does Magby get... Does Magby get Flame Body and Vital Spirit? Honestly, honestly, Sebastian's just so annoying for him. I kind of want to go Sebastian. So I'm going to go Sebastian. I'm just going to make sure he's okay with the Baton Pass, because I know there was some confusion at the beginning of the season. No, he's fine with it. Okay. I'm allowed to pit pass dry stats, and that was fine. I kind of don't want to fuck with this thing, but at the same time, I don't think he's going to stay in. Would he really sacrifice his Kabuto just to get a spin-off? I outspeed Kabuto. He's not going to sack this. He's going to go into... I'm going to click Rock Slide on his Drifloon. You're not going to stay in. I sh usually outspeed you. Unless you're like max speed Kabuto. If he's that adamant about getting these hazards away, fine. I don't think he stays in here though. I think he's going to go into Magby or Drifloon expecting a Leaf Blade. He could go into Spinner Rack as well. Anything he goes into expecting Leaf Blade just gets bodied by Rock Slide. Especially with that little spike damage I have. He's going to withdraw. A hey. Into Afterlife. Spinner Rack. Drifloon. Same thing. Yeah! Well, I was going to say, if I miss, I swear to God. <gasps> damage! I don't have my bar open. We see... Berry Juice. Okay. Berry juice. Uh, I'm just gonna put popped. I wish I had a bar. Sucks. Okay, so we know he's unburdened with berry juice. He could also be acrobatics, and that's terrible. <laughs> I kind of want to go into my. Does my tie run outspeed this thing? I doubt it. 16 if he's timid. 17 compared to my Tyrant, which is... Fifteen times one point five. I think that just boosts me by one. Fifteen times one point five is seventeen. So I don't I don't even outspeed this thing before on burden. Jesus. So if he wants to willow me, he could. If he wanted to willow my my little dinosaur. <clears throat> I could just let my Meowth go down. But Meowth outspeeds everything else on his team, so I can at least get a parting a Z parting shot off if I need to later. What wants to take two hits from this thing? How well is Gurmit taking these hits? Man. Ah, it's fuck, I'm so useless anyway, level fifty. I'm gonna go into my Tyrant. I'm gonna go into my Tyrant because I think he's just gonna go for Acrobatics. He might go for Shadow Ball, and if he does, it's a good play. Rah! Willow, good play. All right, good play. I should have gone Meowth, but whatever. That kind of sucks, but at the end of the day, I'm still a Tyrant. You can't touch me, like at all. Even burned, I'm going to murder your whole existence. Yeah, I'm going to murder your whole existence. And if I can get rid of the things on Burden for good, that really helps because then Meowth outspeeds and so does Froakie. So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to take the loss of momentum because I think he's going to switch, but I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to click Stone Edge. I'm just going to go for it. If he goes into Kabuto, good play. Like, I honestly think he's going to switch, but it's not worth it for me to predict, because if he does stay in and just pulls out, like, 8p ground out of his ass, that's not good for me. Because then I lose my tyrant for basically nothing. I may as well get rid of this thing's unburden, or let him sack it off. Or I miss, and I just lose now. <laughs> There's that, too. I could just miss, and this entire this entire thing means nothing. This hair is getting on my shoulders, and it's annoying me. I don't even know what this thing does. I I want you to know, I did one test game with Drifloon in it, and I bodied it. He's going to go for Hex! I should live this. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Yes! Yes! 
That did zero! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright. Uh, I should probably be writing down kills. Uh, Drift, Loon. Let me make this sticky note bigger. Kills, Tyrant with Burn. Okay, so now that's gone. Well, that sucks. <laughs> there go my rocks. That kind of sucks. Okay, so you have Willow and Hex. Willow, Hex. But now you can't heal. Do you get Recycle? I feel like you do. You do. So I can't even let you do anything. I think I have to go into Gurmit and just click Surf, which isn't a terrible thing to say. How much is Gurmit taking? Uh, I hate this thing. That turn one crit sucks. Sucks so much. Sucks so much. I hate it. Ah! Gurmit is in. Gurmit is clicking surf. Gurmit is probably going to try and claim a life. Honestly, how does he just not lose to Gurmit? <laughs> I want to see that Pancham damage on my Shelmet while I wait. Because that did four. Pan Chem. Uh, 17%. So for knockoff to be doing 17%, I don't think you're... That doesn't make any sense. I wish I could check. Recycle. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you and your Drift Loon. I swear to on everything. Come on, Gurmit. Just crit it and kill him. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hate this. Can I switch moves, please? <laughs> Let me switch moves. I'm gonna have to sit here through this thing recycling me to death. <laughs> please don't stall me, Mr. Drifloon. That's gonna make me sad. You're gaining like four HP. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck is this? God damn it. I honestly, I don't know, I guess I know why he willowed, but like, uh, I probably shouldn't have gone hard Tyrant. I probably should have just sacked Meowth. I should have just sacked the Meowth, honestly. But like, Meowth can be useful for Z parting shot later, so I can allow Kermit to take Gurmit. I can allow Gurmit to take some damage. Does Z Parting Shot heal my PP as well? I don't think it does. I think it just heals my HP and status. Can you just not do this and switch, please? I know he's going to stay in and recycle again, but like, how much PP does Recycle have? Because I should be keeping count of that. Uh, you have Recycle. Recycle has 16. Okay. Uh, I need a notepad. Recycle uh, 1. Not 12, 1. Can I see how much PP Surf has? Yo, Kabuto, how much PP does Surf have? Surf has 24. Okay, so I can outstall this thing. Good, 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 good. So you're gonna either... Yeah, he knows he can't win this just because of PP. And I have more than enough, because I also have 8 left. Stop! <laughs> no! Alright, recycle 2. If I crit, I'm not gonna feel bad. I'm not gonna feel bad. <laughs> Come on, Gurmit! Gurr! Come on, Gurmit. That did half. Okay, so I'm doing like 50%. So I just want to see how your EVs look. Drift Loon. Level 5. Uh, Surf. Okay, so you have like a lot of HP. And you have a nice amount of Spadef too. Not a whole... You're not... Okay, so you hit 13 Spadef. I think. Something like that. Actually, that could be more just max HP. Because I was getting higher roll before. I'm just gonna sit here and click surf. You're going to either... You're going to sit here and like it, or you're just... You're gonna die. Does a crit Oko? Crit doesn't even Oko. That's sad. Come on, Froki. Come on, Froki. Come on, Gurmit. Can you just switch? I don't want to do this. Thank you! <laughs> Can you just switch? Thank you. <laughs> I don't care what he went into. F 
fuck that fucking drift loom. Yeah! Look at this damage! Yeah! That did nothing. Jesus Christ! Froki, what are you doing? You were putting in so much work, and now you just- Nope. Oh my god, this is the fattest fucking panda I've ever seen. That did like- Oh my god, you're so- You're a fat panda! Fucking fat panda. I'm trading, uh, fat panda. 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 He's gonna drain punch. This is gonna do like six. That actually did more than a knockoff. Then again, I didn't have an Eevee light, so. I really want an energy ball on his Kabuto, expecting me to spike again. Shelmet, Wavy against Pancham. Oh my god, Shelmet, jeez. I can also just baton pass, because I live any hit, and then I can go into like... I can't go into Gurmet. He's not speeding my Shelmet. I don't think my showman has any speed, though. My showman has nine speed. Yeah, so he doesn't need any speed. Okay, so... How fast is my... I typed down Enocalc. Uh, Lily Pup. How fast is my dog? Oh my god, this thing's so fat! This thing needs to stop. No, don't go hard into Lily Pup. That's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. I kinda wish I had play rough now, but I don't. It's gonna seem weird, but how much some, I might have to go pert or a live or not fucking the cat thing. Just click knock and let it go down. I think I might do that. So I'm gonna baton pass in case he switches again. I use fire punch! I should live this. Eat it up, eat it up, eat up, eat up, eat up, eat up. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, that still kills! Panda kills Shelmet with Fire Punch. I'm gonna have to talk another thing to this. And it's gonna have to be Meowth. Okay, so if I sack Meowth, he has everything left. Surprisingly, though, 3v6, I'm still not super worried. <sighs> I feel like I should be, though. As long as I play around that Magby properly, I should be fine. <sighs> I don't even know what to do. Wish I'd play rough. I'm just gonna go. I have to go in a per I have to go in a live and click knock and let this thing go down. Not Liper. What the hell are you called? Fucking Catman. Ugh. Let's think. Sack Meowth. This thing becomes useless. His Drifloon's at half. His Kabuto is at like 80. Spinarak, Elekid, and Magby are at full. So I sack this. I go... Depends if this thing is in range of crunch after I knock. I don't think it will be. So I think I go Froakie and just spam Surf again to pick up a kill. After that, he has to reveal what his way around Froakie is after, yeah. Clicking knock. Yeah. That's gonna do like six, yeah. Give you light. Oh, he parting shot. Okay, so he's gonna let me live. That's actually kind of big for me. I'm fine with this. So we know you have Parting Shot and Fire Punch. Okay. And you had Eevee Light. Uh, Evo gone. He's gonna go in a socket, the Elekid. Oh, I'm swinging like an Elekid. So, Elek, not Relikid, Elekid. It's 20 speed. I think that outspeeds Meowth if he's max speed timid. Summary. It does outspeed me. So, I could either A, sack my Meowth, or I could B, just go hard Sebastian. I kind of like B. 
just going hard in a skiddy and keeping this around for being annoying. I feel like I'm going to regret that decision, but I feel like he can just click flamethrower and just body me. I feel like that's exactly what's going to happen right now. Thunderbolt. Okay, 25 to 19. We see Life Orb. Okay. Life Orb with Thunderbolt. Do I live? Skip. You are Life Orb. Do you get Flight there? I feel like you do. Oh, you don't! This whole time I thought it was Mango. Ice? If he's mixed, he won't kill me. This is big. Huge! Okay. What have I revealed on this? I clicked Bulldoze. No, I clicked Rock Slide. So I really want to click Bulldoze just to get this thing out of here. If he goes into Drifloom on my Bulldoze... If he goes into Drifloon on my Bulldoze, I think I go hard for Oki. Because no matter what he does, I'll outspeed because he doesn't have Inverted anymore. And if he wants to recycle, I'll just cl I'll click Ice Beam and take the L. And click Bulldoze. Signal Beam. Oh, shit! Yes! That's my boy! Yeah! Come on! Dude, you can't be serious! That's not cool! You can't do that! Okay, so how does how much HP do I get for milk drink? By half of his own HP. So half of 25 is 12 and a half. So that'll give me 12, that'll put me at 15, I won't live signal beam. Okay, so now what do I sack? This or Skidoo? Or, no, <laughs> Skidoo or Skidoo? Do I sack Meowth or Skidoo? I think the answer is Meowth. Because Skidoo can still check the Kabuto. If I want to be insane, I can just go hard into Froki. <laughs> Basically, I just need something to take a hit while this thing dies to Life Orb. But I don't know what that is. How did that not kill? Come on! Uh, actually, I think... I think Meowth is the keep here. I'm gonna milk drink in case he doesn't. Wait! I owed speed! Duh! Oh my god, I just threw this entire game. Wow! Yeah, I didn't deserve the- Durr! I outspeed! Wow, I'm stupid. Elekid- Fucking hell. Elekid kills Skidoo with Signal Beam. Elekid dies to Life Orb. Wow, I'm dumb. That's- Wow. Duh! Oh my god, I think I just threw this entire game. Man! I'm just going into Gurmit, and I'm just going to spam Surf. His team is actually pretty vulnerable to Gurmit now. What would he have? He's not Scarf Panda, unless he's Scarf Magby with Thunder Punch. Aragog. That has to be Magby. That's not Magby. <laughs> that has to be Magby. Not Magby. <laughs> All right, Spinarak. What do you do? You get like Giga Drain and shit. Froki. Come on, Garmit. Please tell me you get not nah, wrong, Froki. Come on, Garmit. Spinarak. Little cup. Dude, how are you doing thirty percent, Froki? My boy. Come on now. Pick up the pace. Oh my god, I do 39 to 52. Dude! After one layer of spike, what's my chance of 2 at KOing? 
12. I have a 12% chance of 2 KOing this thing. Froki! What the hell are you doing? You get knockoff. I feel like you do, for some stupid reason. You don't. I could just go hard into my lily pup. And click what? Oh, why is everything so fat? These things were not this fat, I swear. These things got fatter in Wi-Fi. These things were not this fat before. Oh my god, I don't even know what I have to do here. I'm gonna surf and just hope he's not the set that's standard on the calc. <laughs> like, that's my play. Come on, Froki. My boy! That doesn't look. Oh no, Leech Life. Why does Leech Life do half to me? That's what I don't understand with these rolls. How am I doing 30%, but he's doing 50 with Leech Life? How does that make any sense? Doesn't make any sense at all. I'm going to lose this game and I'm about to get stomped. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I outsped the Elekid! I'm so dumb, man. I'm so dumb. I'll just heal up and let him die to life for there. Oh my god, why didn't I just fucking kill him? I'd still have my skidoo. I my skidoo, I could sack to this thing, and then I'd be fine. Just, uh. Do I want to go hard in a fucking fucking dog? It's the fucking Drifloon, which prevents me from spamming return. If I lose Froki, I lose the game, I think, though. That's the issue. He's just spamming Leech Life. Either way, something's dying or taking a huge hit here. I should have sacked me out like 20 turns ago. He's gonna get back to full fleech lifing. Watch him crit me. See, now that does nothing! I don't understand. Look up, man. Look up, it's stupid. I'm clicking return. If he goes into the drift loon, I I quit. <laughs> that's it. If he click, if he goes into drift loon, I lose. Like yeah, that's it. Actually, if he goes drift loon, that might not be the worst thing for me, because he's gonna click recycle on my switch out, and then I can go into meowth and I can Z parting shot my my Froki back to health. Actually, that might be better for him if he. Uh, that banded lily pup return does fucking 52 to this fucking spider that has 40 defense. Ah! Did nothing. <laughs> and he sets up webs. What was this Kabuto's item then? Because if he's Eviolite on Panda and Spinarak. Can't be EV11 Kabuto. Oh, he did that, so now Drifloon out speeds Meowth. And Froki. Now, the question is does he sack this off or does he. S I think he's gonna switch and just preserve it. I think he's gonna switch and preserve this because he knows I'm banded. I'm gonna double into the. F 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I do. He wins with Drifloon. I'm going to go into Froakie, but it doesn't matter. I think he's going to switch. If he doesn't, then he just wins. It doesn't matter. Why? <sighs> I'm so mad. I played so badly this game. They said, why does this get shadows and he gets a... Well, now that's the game, because for some reason Spinner I got Shadow Sneak. Okay. Fuck this Pokemon. Fuck everything about this Pokemon. Brokey kills Spinarak with Surf. Fucking ah. S U R F. Wow, I'm incompetent. Thermal Magni Why? Oh, he's gonna mock punch me. Yeah, he's gonna mock punch my team to death. Let's hope he misses mock punch. Please miss mock punch. <laughs> like, that's all I got. All I have now is you miss mock punch or you miss click. If he miss clicks in the belly drum, I might celebrate. Miss? Nope. Okay. Uh, Magby kills Froki Lillipup Meow with and my only way of winning now is by clicking down and clicking sod and hoping I live the mock punch and even if I live the mock punch I don't live fucking uh, toxic I'll click facade because it's stronger come on man that turn one crit Turn one of week one. I feel like that's exactly how the season goes. Part of me thinks, I feel like that happened last season, or not last season, um, season two to me as well. I feel like that just happens to me. Like, turn one of week one of the brand new season, and I got crit. Never mind, he's gonna go for fire punch. Live, Downey! Ah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's entirely it. Good game to Vivid. Uh, I played so bad. I'm mad about that. I just got fucking stomped. Yeah, that was a good game to Vivid, though. Make sure you guys go check him out. He was He's really cool. He's, he's I don't know. <laughs> I, honestly, I, I'm, I'm going to be straight up. I haven't checked him out myself just because my life is fucking busy. I'm going to black hole clips for the meme. Uh, no, he's going to mock much me. He's not even going to let me have fun. Uh, I haven't checked him out, but I've talked to him a little bit, and he's just really cool. So make sure you guys go check him out. He's in a couple other leagues. He's pretty cool. And uh, we f get fucking stomped week one. I feel like that's exactly how the season's going to go. <laughs> but with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. My name is Kurt, and I'll see you guys next week. But peace. I'm out.